Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and shall be nearing the end of days. Well, there's a lot of discussion about this terrible event that happened in the UK where this one Russian spy that was now living in the UK was poisoned, him and his daughter. These two people were poisoned. A former Russian military officer and British spy who acted as a double agent. He and his daughter were poisoned in Salisbury. And now this has come out again. Poisoned UK couple, their last hours before falling ill. Anxiety spikes in the UK after a second poisoning. Some type of a super freaking thing that they've got that can poison people. These people were found on a bench and they were just foaming at the mouth and ready to die. And then they even removed the bench later on. See, they removed that bench. And now people in that same area are still falling ill. It comes all the way back to Vladimir Putin and Russia and China and the meddling in the elections to get Donald Trump elected. It, that's what happened is it, wake up. About the best way to do it. But um, things are going on here a little bit bigger than everybody thinks. It all comes back to Satan and to this end time gig that's going on that'll lead to Armageddon. This beast out of the sea with seven heads and ten horns. You can have Obama, Trump, they can look like they're not working together, and Putin, and China, and the Pope. And it has the feet of a bear, and the dragon gave him his power. The dragon is Satan, and they will all begin to fight Jesus Christ with a great deception and a lie. And even this poisoning going on. See, all right here. It's happening right in front of you. It doesn't mean something like nuclear war is going to begin right away. It's more deceptive than that. It's a lot about money and control and power. That's what it normally all comes down to. Well, this is the area where this happened in Salisbury. This is where the attack happened and where they're doing it again. It says that Satan will have the feet of a bear, the beast. Many, many different nations and things all working together. There's the bear. How are these things mapped out like this? In the Bible, this basically means that we're nearing the end times. It, it says in the book of Acts that people like myself and millions of others will wake up to show you signs in the heavens and on the earth, and that this is another sign that we're nearing the end. Again, it doesn't mean you're going to blow up today or tomorrow. We're, we're not sure about all that. It, it's when God wants to do. There's a big test going on also. Let's show here. There's the feet of the bear. That means Satan. And then comes the dragon. Remember, the dragon will give him his power, leading right to where the poisoning attacked. And when I map this out, it's actually a woman right here because they will go after this woman that is ready to bring forth the man-child to rule all nations, Jesus Christ. We're nearing the second coming of Christ. So they are all getting ready to fight Jesus. All of them preparing different laws, different things, preparing military around the world, whatever anybody might think, bringing chaos and distrust. Obama was part of this also. For the last 10 years or so, the USA has really done nothing. Nothing in the world. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe just since the 911 thing and then the war and, and against Saddam Hussein, you know, it's been a big stalemate. This guy's getting everything. China. We owe China, the USA owes China, $21 trillion. There's a big leak going on. This is a liar, just as Obama was. Just because one's black and one's white, people really fall for that easily. Satan is tricking everyone. The dragon. There it is. Seven heads and ten horns will go after the woman. The dragon will go after a woman. That's who was killed there, this guy and his daughter. He and his daughter 
were poisoned. It's that's Vladimir Putin. He's going after Jesus Christ and the second coming of Christ. It'll all end up in the Valley of Megiddo in Armageddon. We don't know when, but it's getting there. All the things are being drawn together. God is testing everyone right now. For those who don't know it, this is also a big test. Big test. Big. Even for the angels and everything else. We're at a point in the Bible that's, that's very tricky. You know, stick with your faith. Jesus is testing everyone also. He's looking. God's judgment on the nations. And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. And then Jesus brings his wrath, and I will tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. Jesus is testing everyone and looking. That, that's what it says in here, that he's getting ready. See? He's looking around. He's watching. It's a big test. He's watching all this go on. He's testing everyone, even the angels. Because in the Bible it says even the angels will be judged. So there it is. That's more signs of the beast system. Um, quit thinking that these guys are going to save you. Quit thinking that the next president's going to save you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, don't fall for this. Um, most of the media that's backing these guys is fake. Most of the comments on the comment sections in these things for these guys is fake. So don't fall for the trap of the bots, which will just be to make you mad. The election was rigged. Obama's election was rigged. George Bush's election was rigged. Vladimir Putin's election was rigged. The new Saudi king and prince over there, he just took over in a coup, practically. China's president is like a new dictator now. It's happening. They're all gathering together, and it's a deception. The next president's not going to save you either. Um, only Jesus can save us. So let's endure. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There is direct evidence that this was an attack by Satan and has a lot to do back to Russia through there. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah.